Welcome to Fine Art Conservation Laboratories. We specialize in works of art on paper, works of art on canvas, and paint on walls or murals. I'm going to give you a tour today, show you all the things that we use and all the processes that we go through. This is our administrative area where we uh, keep track of business, of course, and uh, log paintings in, keep track of clients, and uh, make things happen. When we have new items come into the lab, they need to be uh, registered, of course. We also make uh, documentation folders, log in who the clients are, take the measurements, take them out of frames, and this is the area where we bring things in and log things into the system. The documentation report is uh, like a medical record where we keep track of all of the materials that we use and uh, all the time that we put into it. Also keep, of course, the client information and any historical data and information that we find out about the painting. Everything that comes in gets photographed before we work on it. We also take a photograph of the painting during cleaning. Here you can see the yellow varnish being removed, revealing the original color. And we take a photograph after we're done and uh, show what the painting looks like when it leaves the lab. One of the things we're also known for is investigative or analysis, which helps in the authentication process, helps to identify original signatures, helps to identify uh, previous restoration or conservation treatments, helps to look at underlining, underlining, uh, underlying uh, drawings and other characteristics of artwork that would help in the uh, dating and in the authentic authentication process. However, we do not authenticate artwork. This green television camera looking thing is an infrared reflectometer and helps us to look underneath paint layers, helps to highlight uh, different things that, uh, like pencil for instance, that show up better under infrared and uh, is very handy at times in investigating uh, conditions and uh, hidden details. This is a stereo binocular microscope and we use it often to look at signatures very closely to see if they're original. We also uh, do some of our cleaning tests when the painting looks sensitive so that we can see very close up uh, what is going on uh, with the solvents. Of course uh, with this equipment uh, a small crack looks like the Grand Canyon. These are sheets from x-ray and the x-rays of course penetrate everything and show just like your bones uh, show up the denser materials. Uh, the dots that you see here are areas of missing paint that were painted out and were not visible to the eye. This figure in fact was painted underneath a uh, still life of flowers. This uh, line that you see here is actually a rip that was painted out and you couldn't see with the naked eye. So there are many details that can come uh, out in an x-ray that are often very important to know before you start working on a painting. The racks you see in the background are the area where we store paintings that are coming and going with their frames as they await for conservation treatments. This is one of the areas where we do cleaning and uh, you may see there the large uh, elephant-like hose coming out of the ceiling, uh, which we use to evacuate away or to take out uh, noxious smells and solvent vapors. This process is called in-painting because we are very careful to touch things up or retouch paintings with a very small brush and only in-paint the areas where paint is missing. You may notice also that the painting is upside down so that uh, the in-painting or color matching uh, is a technical process of color matching and not getting confused at some point uh, by the composition. This is our largest piece of equipment called a vacuum hot table. It warms up. Uh, we're able to 
uh, help relax cracking and distortions. Uh, we also activate adhesives, uh, remove cracks, and generally try to stabilize deterioration and the structural elements of a painting. These paintings are being prepared for treatments. These paintings are undergoing a lining process or a reinforcement process to help correct cracking and cupping. On the hot table, a piece of uh, fabric or plastic is put over the top of the painting, uh, it's like a membrane, and then with the hose and the suction uh, device, we are able to pull the air out so it holds it in place while the heat is activated, the adhesives, and everything uh, relaxes and goes the way it should. This is the spray booth where we apply varnish. We apply varnish both with a brush and with a spray gun. And we also uh, applied several different kinds of varnish. We vary the shine of the varnish depending on the style of the painting and uh, what is needed by the uh, client. Our suction table is used primarily for works of art on paper. Uh, however, it can also be used for paintings and helping to relax distortions and to help uh, penetrate adhesives into difficult areas. The surface of the table is perforated and uh, all of the air goes through the surface of the table. We can mask this area out so that only air is being pulled through the artwork and therefore we can um, work with solvents and humidity and other things to help relax or the painting or the artwork and the adhesives. That is the Red Carpet VIP Tour of Fine Art Conservation Laboratories. Hope you found it interesting. There are tips and things that you can do at home if you go to www.preservationcoach.com and also look around www.saveyourstuff.com.